welcome to my lucky secret channel. It's been a while. How are you? I took a short break from my exams and I am back with a new topic which is 5G. Before we get into the subject, please like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel because I take 3 to 4 days to prepare one subject. So please support me. Now let's get into the subject. What is 5G? Ooh, that is 5G, the lightning speed. 5G is the 5th generation technology standard for broadband and cellular network started getting deployed from 2019 worldwide. 5G networks are expected to reach 25% more users by next 3 years. The biggest difference between 4G and 5G is latency. For people who are not familiar with latency, let me tell you. Latency is the delay between the command given and received. For example, 4G's latency is 60 milliseconds to 100 milliseconds. Whereas 5G's latency is 1 millisecond. 5G's top download speed record is 10 GB per second. Like it is 100 times faster than 4G. How is it possible? Like 4G, 5G also follows the service area divided into small geographical groups called cells. 4G can have 10 to 12 connections within a square meter, whereas 5G can have 100 connections within a square meter, which indicates free band within a square meter, and 5G operates in a higher radio frequencies that are less cluttered. This allows for it to carry more information at a much faster rate. These higher bands are called millimeter waves, which were previously unused but now open by the regulators. 5G waves travel at 24 to 100 gigahertz, whereas 4G was around 6 gigahertz. It is faster also because of the slicing technology, which slices a physical network into multiple virtual network, which means operators can do the right slice of network depending on the importance of better network management. For example, try to a single user streaming movie to a complex video conference to a business presentation or any other demanding need. First nation to adopt 5G on a large scale is South Korea in 2019, which is now being used in 70 countries as on day. The adoption to 5G is so fast because of its potential to enhance technologies in almost all industries like automation to driverless cars to remote healthcare and my favorite subject, hologram and much more. 5G will definitely shape the future technology while Internet of Things devices are already taking hold in market. 5G will improve the speed and capacity whereby almost every device could be connected and smart. While it all seems to be good with 5G, there are few negatives too. Since it is a higher band technology, the long distance of transformation would be a problem and hence there would be more input and output antennas to boost signals. 5G technology needs smaller transmitters placed on buildings rather than using big standalone masks. Cyber security risk is another drawback of 5G because it increases the risk of hacking and moreover lack of encryption during the connection process makes it an easier target for cyber attacks and data theft. I also read that this technology consumes 10 to 12 percentage more battery usage on 5G compared to 4G. Friends, while 5G is not quite ready for use, moves are being made to make this a reality. When the technology is fully rolled out, it is clear that it could dramatically change our way we work and live. Friends, that's all for me now and I'll catch you later with an another interesting topic soon.